So I'm going to try to pick up where I left off with the last video. You're gonna have to, if you want the information that I'm trying to give you, you're gonna have to be patient with the process, okay? Because for so long in my life, many people in many situations probably were not patient with me, and and maybe that's a kind of thing with you. Maybe you felt that way. Maybe you felt like held back or pushed to the side or and if you do feel that way and if you ever have I just want to tell you right now first and foremost fuck you you think that way because you're around people that aren't happy with themselves and they are miserable so they try to spread their misery and they feel like you're miserable as well July 6, 1938. Crazy. Um, this game might, might actually be from Nazi Germany annexing Austria President Ronald. That is not what it said. President Franklin D. Roosevelt proposed an international conference to meet with a solution for the growing number of Jewish refugees fleeing the Third Reich. Although Roosevelt was not in attendance himself, representatives from 23 countries, six small European democratic nations, Latin American nations, Australia, and New Zealand all met in Evian, Evian, France, from July 6th through July 15th, 1938, to discuss admission of refugees. Aside from the Dominican Republic agreeing to take in, the ref in refugees for huge amounts of money, none of the countries would budge and a solution was never established. That was very ominous. Um, now we're in March 39. Oh, dude, okay. So what, I'm gonna get a sneak peek. You're gonna see a video later. Um, what is this game called? I already forgot. The Light and the Darkness is what this game is called. And it's a cute little... Beautiful game. When I say cute, it's a beautiful game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude. Can't focus too much on that while I'm trying to do this. So you're gonna see this video of this game for later. I'm gonna try to stay focused. No, I'm going to stay focused on what I Right, grab the book, right? Anyway, life is so beautiful, man. It's so incredible. And if it's dark and if it's in this, if you're in this place of like despair and darkness and you feel like you're not enough or you feel depressed or you feel anything that's not good right now, change it. stress this enough because you have the power to change your life entirely and I didn't believe that 
to an extent, I would kind of back and forth, back and forth. I would lean into it here and there. But I can pinpoint. Let me see. So I can pinpoint moments in my life. I'm not right with this. These moments in life where I knew I was on the right track. I knew for a fact that my life was changing. And but let me stop and back pedal a little bit. Everything happens for a reason, good or bad. Whether you believe it or not at the time, if it's something bad that happens to you, if it's meant to happen to you, to make you stronger, to, to make you To make you better, to thank you to be able to overcome obstacles. Um, we're tested a lot in life uh, with different scenarios and situations. And it's just how we react to those tests and how we handle those situations is what is part of what like, shapes us and what builds our character. Um, There's gonna be so much resistance. Uh, and I'm gonna, you're gonna hear me say words that you might not understand. Like, I know you know what a pendulum is, but like, understanding the pendulum of the waves of energy and light and all of that shit that adds up together. Life is an equation. Life is life is life is numbers. Numbers are important. I don't know why I'm writing that down because I just said it. But maybe I'll need to, maybe I wrote it. Everything happens for a reason, right? I question that. Stop questioning shit. Like, if you're on this path, you know deep inside of you what you want in life, what your goals are, what you want to do with yourself, what you want to become, what dreams you have, all that bullshit. I don't care. It's not my business. I don't want to hear about it. I, I do want to hear about it if you want to talk about it, but I don't, I don't care enough I'm not going to ask you, right? (sighs) Because, and that sounds shitty hearing that out loud, but you have to be, I've said this before, and I don't think, I I don't think people really understand it, is you have to be selfless. Excuse me, excuse me, I misspoke. You have to be selfish to be able to be selfless, okay? Because if you're always worried about being sure other people are good and that is all that, that's great. But if you're not happy doing that, you're not happy inside. If you're, if you, have, oh, I think we're saying this on the other video. If you have like a nine to five job that you hate going to every day, stop going. You know deep in your heart when something's not right in your life and when you need to change it. Okay. hard it's very conflicting it's it's tough it's menacing it's god damn it it's i mean it's everything that you want it to be okay not even so much that you want it to be but incredible and for example 
coming now. Okay. Okay, my thoughts are not synchronized with the flow of the energy and motion and shit around. If I have to break shit down for you, like if you're that slow and I have to break everything down for you, I, I don't mind doing so, but ask me about it in a respectful manner. Cause if you just come at me fucking stupid and say something stupid to me, I'm an energy matcher, brother. So like if you're cool, I'm cool. And you come at me sideways, I'm gonna come at you sideways. But I'm not gonna feel no type of way about it. That's gonna be the thing. It's like I'm just point blank done in this story. It's over with. I don't have anything more to say, and I'm not gonna feel that. Like whatever. What you need to do first and foremost.